to what question the universe is the answer. Once you have doubts, you may enter the tunnel of space and time to find the answer. The eternal sun is now shifting to a celestial longitude of 90 degrees. When the sun journeys to its farthest northern point, the day stretches the longest. Shadows shrink the shortest. And the fire star emerges, signaling the arrival of the summer solstice. In this bright moment, Yang reaches its zenith. I can perceive the pulsating rhythm of every planet burning from within represents the full bloom of life. Within the nurturing embrace of Yang, a delicate trace of Yin enters the world. Yin cannot thrive without Yang, and Yang cannot flourish without Yin. Yin and Yang are in a constant motion to a new balance. I am Qi, and through the radiance of the brightest light, I am in quest of questions and answers. Your pride remains unchanged. Your imposing antlers symbolize the accomplishments and glory you have attained over the course of the year. Though you look like the elk, you possess a distinctiveness. Your antlers point forward, representing Yang, unlike the elk's backward-pointing antlers, which are often associated with Yin. In the last winter, I accompany the elk on a quest for transformation and hope. Now, as the summer solstice approaches and all things flourish, I will bestow upon you rejuvenation and fortitude. The shedding of antlers signifies a new beginning. Let us leave behind the past and have a walk in nature and embrace the gentle summer breeze. Living a carefree life between heaven and earth, I am content with the joy it brings. You and I. Lively young man, filled with a spirit as high as rising smoke, the rock soars through the winds, covering a distance of ninety thousand miles. O、oh, whirlwind, continue your force. The melodies of summer are led by cicadas. They are born when young is at its peak, and chirp. When they sense the presence of Yin, their life cycle shows the heroic journey of nurturing life. After mating, the male cicadas pass away, followed by the female cicadas after laying their eggs. Their offspring spend several years to over a decade underground, undergoing multiple molts before finally emerging as adults. After lying hidden for so long, cicadas await their time to sing and bloom. When they start to chirp in the trees, while at this time, their lives are already in their final stages. A splendid life doesn't dwell on when it will end. The life itself is inspirational and glorious. Enjoying the lotus flowers and the sounds of cicadas. Are refined activities unique to the summer solstice. The lotus flowers emerge from mud, yet remain pure, and the cicadas undergo a metamorphosis from underground larvae to winged adults. This embodies life's lofty pursuits. The midsummer night sky is serene yet filled with energy. Insects flutter through the lush forests. As summer reaches its midpoint, a variety of medicinal herbs begin to sprout from the ground in May, including an herb known as Banxia, literally half summer. Banxia is a shade-loving medicinal herb thriving in the seclusion of mountains and forests, with toxins stored in its roots. During the peak of its growth, it transforms into a potent medicine, embodying its intrinsic value. And significance. As you plant your roots deep underground, 
Mountains, rivers, and the vast earth will nourish you. As you reach up to the sky, the sun, the moon, and the stars shall serve as your backdrop. The universe is too vast to imagine, yet the inner world is even vaster than the universe. I am but a passerby, like the spring breeze. In your captivating gaze, even the Milky Way finds its place. The seasons follow their steady rhythm, and the summer solstice signifies the arrival of bright days. The flame of the heart continues to burn, infusing life with passion. Things appear to go and come, yet nothing truly arrives or departs. So, I wonder, does it matter to seek answers to these questions?